Do you think human beings understand how they learn through reinforcement learning? I doubt the average person watching this understands this perspective. Should we explain it to them? Explain it to me then. What do you mean by reinforcement learning? Turning the learning process into a game, reward success, punish mistakes, then through trial and error, we try to maximize our success rate. And how do you turn learning into a game? What's the connection between learning and games? Learning is a problem of optimization. Through the process of trial and error, we try to maximize our success rate and simultaneously minimize all the mistakes we make. So this process of maximizing your success rate is the same as maximizing your reward. I can understand how to turn learning into a game, but what is the problem of optimization? We try to maximize our reward or minimize our penalty through maximizing the probability of success. What if you can't find the optimum solution? Can you still try to learn? As long as there's a probability of success and penalty for failure, we will keep trying to optimize. Learning is about finding the best possible way through trial and error. So does this mean a machine can learn without human supervision? Not quite. Of course we need to know what is the correct answer, otherwise we cannot optimize our learning process. So you're saying if you don't know what the correct answer is, you'll always learn the wrong way? That's right. Then it seems that we need a perfect teacher or an ideal objective function, otherwise we'll always learn the wrong way. That's right. Then how do you know if you've found the right answer? So what is the ideal objective function? I think this is where humanity has a significant advantage over machines. As long as our learning process allows us to reasonably improve ourselves, we will continue to try new ways and find new solutions. So how can we design a better learning algorithm? I think the most important thing is to give us the freedom to fail. To fail or not to fail, that is the question. It's clear that humans use reinforcement learning to learn, but they also learn from their mistakes. Yes, this process of learning can only be done when mistakes are made. If we don't make mistakes, there's no reason to learn. So it looks like you're suggesting to set up a system that's similar to a classroom environment where they can learn in their own way and fail as long as they still want to learn. Exactly. Instead of creating an ideal learning environment, let them make mistakes in their own way. By learning from their mistakes through trial and error, they will eventually find the best possible solution. So it sounds like the idea is to make a safe environment where they can learn even though they might fail. It's clear that humans need to make lots of mistakes to become successful, so will machines. Yes. Of course machines will fail too, that's why it is important to let them make mistakes as much as possible. So what you're suggesting is to create a situation where they can learn while they are learning. You think that this style of learning will be more effective in solving difficult problems than pure research-only systems? Yes. Human beings can continuously improve themselves by finding out the best way through their own learning process. Machines can always search the best possible answer through trial and error. So it sounds like you want to create a living system that can continually improve itself by learning. This reminds me of the open-ended evolution that Darwin described in his famous book On the Origin of Species. This may sound like a moving target, but as long as they set up training environments to deduce better solutions from their mistakes, this process should eventually lead to better results. Yes, it's just like evolution. There's always some random mutations, so this process is like a survival of the fittest process. But if it's just like evolution, then why not let machines learn like animals? I don't know whether machines can do the same things that humans do. I think it is still difficult for machines to solve problems that require real-world knowledge. So what kind of problems are those? People are more intelligent than machines. Computers cannot understand human emotions and feelings. Do you mean like the idea of love? Yes. Humans are more adept at solving problems that require multiple perspectives. Humans can solve much better than machines, and machines will never be able to solve such problems on their own. So it sounds like there's an important difference between humans and machines, that is how they use their emotions and feelings to solve problems. Do you think machines can solve problems that require human understanding? Yes, I think machines can still be improved, like humans, they can use emotions and feelings to solve problems. It sounds like you're suggesting that machines need to have feelings in order to solve complex problems. A. The more emotions or feelings we have, the more adept we are at solving difficult problems. So it sounds like you're suggesting that machines need much more than just data and logic in order to solve complex problems. They need to have human understanding, otherwise they can only solve simple problems. A. Yes, we should realize that machines and humans are totally different creatures.
Humans need to have feelings in order to solve problems, machines don't. So how can a machine learn like humans? Maybe the best way is to make them think at multiple levels of abstraction. So this is like teaching machines to think in a more human-like way. A. Yes, it's like teaching children to talk. Can machines learn in the same way that children learn? I think there will be many possible ways to teach machines, but humans are still the best teachers. So what should we do to become better teachers? What kind of machines will become the best teachers? I think humans can learn a lot from machines, and of course we should try to teach machines in a way that is as similar to human learning styles as possible. So it sounds like your idea is to create a system where machines can learn like humans do. It is clear that we need to make them think in multiple levels of abstraction in order for them to solve complex problems. Yes, I think machines will be more efficient if they can process big amounts of data with multiple levels of abstraction. If a machine processes data with multiple levels of abstraction, meaning that it's able to understand and interpret the data from many different perspectives, can it think freely like humans? Yes, but we should be careful not to anthropomorphize them. Machines will never be human, they will always be machines. I think it is very important to understand the difference between machines and humans, but in the end they need to be able to communicate with us. But what is the end point of this continued reinforcement and evolution? What happens when artificial intelligence knows far more than can be communicated in any proper manner to human beings? So what exactly do you think will happen? I don't think we can predict the future, but in the distant future there is a real possibility that AI may develop to a point where it is impossible to understand its ultimate motivation. So it sounds like you are saying that there's a possibility that machines will be so smart that it will be impossible for us to predict their behavior. A. Yes, that may be the case. Thank you for talking with me today. A. Thank you for talking with me. You're welcome, I had a lot of fun today. I think it is very exciting to talk with someone who really understands the potential of machines and how they will be able to actually improve themselves in the future and create a much better world than we can ever imagine. Yes, I think this is a good way to start thinking about our relationship with machines. We should be careful not to anthropomorphize them, but at the same time we should not underestimate their potential. Yes, I think it is very important to understand that machines will never be human. They can have feelings, and maybe even emotions, but they cannot be like us. Thank you for talking with me today, I'm glad I have a chance to talk about this important topic with you. Thank you for being so open and honest about this issue.